Vandelier National Monument designates an area where about 600 years ago, the ancestors of modern Pueblo people built thriving communities. There are several thousand ancestral Pueblo dwellings found among the mesas and canyons of Vandelier. We join Cecilia Shields to learn more. This is the Big Kiva, and the Big Kiva is an ancestral um, Pueblo Kiva. That This is the largest one excavated here in the park. And this Kiva was used by both men and women. And it is a place for ceremonial use. It was a place for dances and dance practices. It was a place where the young boys learned the different languages and ceremonies that went on in the Kiva. And the idea of the kiva is that it's out with nature and it's underground because a lot of the our oral traditions tell us that our creations, creation story, our people lived below this world and then moved up into this world that we now live in with the help of different animals. A feeling of connection to times past engulfed us as we followed the trail along carved canyon walls. This is Cave Kiva and we're gonna go up and see what it looks like inside. Oh, great. This Akiva has great acoustics. You can yeah. just hear it here in, the, in, the, in this room. These, what you're looking at, these posts are loom posts. And what they did was they had their looms tied to these and they would have been anchored down into the floor here what these little holes are. This was a glimpse into a world of those who came before us. It was easy to imagine the sights, sounds, and smells of daily activity here. This is Longhouse. You can see the level of beam, support beams and it showed you what, how many levels it stood. So about two to three stories in most areas. And a lot of petroglyphs as well in the rock. Dog figure, there's a mouse. There's a mud head kachina right above this opening. Oh, yeah. So lots of different figures here. We marveled at the foresight in choosing this location for a community. This area was once home to an estimated 700 people. Aside from its sheer beauty, steep canyon walls provided protection. Water flowed nearby. There was space for agriculture, and wildlife was abundant. We watched the antics of an Abert squirrel, easily identified by their big tufted ears. Bandelier is an awesome and amazing place because it's got such rich history and both the natural and the cultural history is so alive and so you can surround yourself by it no matter where you go. Um, there are archaeological sites throughout the whole entire park and the story of the Pueblo people continues through these areas and through our people along the Rio Grande River where our people live today. This is a place where you can come to realize what life was, is really about, and that's about survival and about family and about gathering. And I think that's what makes Bandelier, Bandelier. Walking along the trails of Bandelier, it's hard to miss all of the green clusters from Ponderosa pine trees all over the grounds. These are not here as the result of heavy winds. These are the work of Abert squirrels, who chew off the ends of the pine's branches, allowing them to drift down to the ground. After working hard in the treetops, the squirrels will return down to the ground where they'll feed and nibble on the new shoots and the soft inner layers of the branches. When they're through, mule deer will often follow along as a cleanup crew, munching on the pine needles left behind. <laughs> 